What is up, everybody? It is Guy Smiley here, and we're going to be doing a quick review of the item that I got inside this package here. I bought this from Venom Venom, uh, Venom on Instagram, and uh, the, the store name is Venom Paintball Store. That's his website where he sells all kinds of like uh, custom uh, third-party items. And uh, we're going to see, and right here, we have this. I got it because he was having a little bit of a sale. He had like a code on his story that allowed you to get some money off. And I was like, well, this is the perfect time to pick this up because I've wanted this for quite a while now. And I have not been able to get one. It is the Brick Tactical Quad Blaster. This is based off of the Quad Blaster used in the 2003 animated series. And uh, that is one of my favorite pieces of Star Wars content. I, I, well, actually, no, it is my favorite piece of Star Wars content. And uh, this blaster was shown in that series. I'll put, a, I'll put a clip right now. This is the blaster here. It comes in a little bag. Modular buildable quad blaster from Brick Tactical. And there's building instructions on a QR code on the back, but I don't think I'll need those. I think I'll be able to figure it out myself. So let's open this up and uh, try to build it. These are $20 uh, normally on Brick Tactical's website. $20 I think is a good price for this because these are injection molded all of these pieces are injection molded and there's there's a lot of pieces to this so uh let's see if we can build it here okay yeah i actually need to look at the instructions because i i have no idea how to do this i guess oh so it's a youtube video um on his uh his channel i guess on the brick tactical youtube channel okay so i know how to build it now um, this piece right here just goes on the backpack. This is the neck bracket piece. What we need to do right here is we have to put these little tiny pieces. They are so small. There's so much detail on this and we have to put them in this piece right here. And now that one's in right there. Uh, you do have to apply a considerable amount of force to get it to go all the way through. Uh, but once it is in there, it's in there very snugly, and you don't have to worry about it falling out. This is not designed to be taken apart uh, again after it's uh, put together, I think. And there we go. We got them both all the way in. Uh, you got to be very, very careful when doing this to make sure that you don't actually break them, uh, because they're a little bit hard to get all the way in uh, to make them like all the way in, in the back like this. And uh, then they're they're very thin pieces of plastic, so they're ABS plastic. It's all ABS plastic, but it's still since since it's, since it's such a small piece, it is a very 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 delicate so now we're gonna do these things here and you just want to put these in this tool right here is uh, supposedly so you can uh, lay it down on a surface like this and then you put it around like this and that's how you push down on it so you don't like break this this long piece right here because um, uh, this long a thin piece of plastic is also a little bit delicate so you just use this to push down on the uh, the base of the uh, of the blaster and then it snaps in right there and there we go all four pieces are attached right there so it's a little bit it's a little bit tricky to get it to, to get it done uh, right and uh, what you do is you take it and you put uh, these two little holes right here and here into the little uh, bars right there and the nice thing about most of these pieces is they're not like directional so it doesn't matter if you like put this one over here or over here uh, this piece in the middle here it didn't matter if you flipped it either way uh, they're not like uh, they don't have to be assembled in a certain uh, orientation so that's really nice and there is the quad blaster right there that looks absolutely amazing um, I never thought that anybody would actually make like an ABS plastic molded version of this gun because it's like just so complex. And uh, there, there's a couple like brick built versions of it that you can do. I actually have one that I'll get right now. So here is the only brick built version that I was ever able to make. I've had this sitting around for a really long time. And as you can see, it uh, does not look very good. It's not very accurate. It doesn't really have like, uh, you could put binoculars on the end. I I've seen people do that for like the blaster tips, but then it would just be like super long and I don't really know of any other way to make these things shorter than maybe I could use a 3L bar and I'll try to do that. Uh, if you guys want a tutorial of this, even though it doesn't look that great, uh, leave a comment down below. Maybe I'll do a tutorial on how to make this. But this here is the gun on a minifigure and as you can see, this looks a lot better. 
It looks absolutely amazing. I love how that looks. Um, there, it's The details are so good. There's so much detail on this. It is crazy. Um, there's even holes on the tips of the blasters. I can't imagine how hard it must have been to get those holes there. Because if you want to do holes on like an injection molded piece, you have to like put little pins on the inside of the mold and then take them out every time you make one, I think. So that is absolutely insane that he was able to do that. And it looks super accurate. Here's the backpack. Uh, now I need to make the uh, the gunner figure that, that, that the, the like a like an accurate minifigure for this gun because in the show like there's a special gunner clone arc trooper that uses this gun and uh, I know I know I do know that somebody did make the helmet for that minifigure so I need to I need to buy one of those I need to see if he's still selling them and I need to make that minifigure for this gun because that would be so cool to have like an accurate Lego arc gunner from the 2003 series but yeah so it looks really good uh, the handles work very well it connects very very nicely to the hands because they are uh, the handles do rotate so you can like rotate them in and out of the hands if you want to do that like so right there and uh, then you can actually disconnect the hands the blaster and I think that you can have it in backpack form as well if you just rotate it around like this and uh, then it's kind of like Kind of like, I guess, he's he's walking around with it. I, I never understood how, uh, in, in the show, the, the guy who carries this gun, he, like, takes it out from behind his back. And it's like he, he was carrying it the whole time. And so I don't really know how he was carrying it back there because, like, you didn't see it before. And it's, like, this massive gun that he just, like, pulls out. Like, he was just it was just in a backpack or something. Um, I don't really know what the hole in the bottom is for. I don't think it's for anything specific. I think it's just there. I don't, I don't think it fits a stud in there. No, it does not. It does not fit a stud. It, it fits the bottom of a minifigure head, though. <laughs> I do wish that, like, the, the holes for, like, these things were a little bit more accurate because it really, like, it really, you have to push it on these, these, uh, you have to push on these arms onto the pegs that they go on. And uh, I wish they were a little bit more, like, accurately sized so you didn't have to, like, push so hard and they were, like, just kind of, like, perfect, like, Lego bars are. But uh, other than that, this is a really awesome piece. Uh, all the pieces are, like, very, very, very sturdy. They don't feel like they're going to break because they are made of ABS plastics. That's the same plastic Lego uses, so they're very high quality like that. And uh, they're not, they're not going to just snap, like, kind of, like, resin printed parts or uh, maybe, like, resin casted stuff. So, yeah. Yeah, very very awesome gun from Brick Tactical and I do even have the uh, the action figure of this trooper here is what the action figure looks like this is what the trooper looks like in the show um, well, actually the helmet's not really uh, quite accurate on this action figure even because uh, the, the, this helmet is I think it's just reused from like the AT, AT, AT uh, from like the AT driver, ATRT driver helmet, but uh, like the the helmet that, that they have in the show is just slightly different from this. But this is actually like almost spot on here. This action figure, and as you can see, here's the gun that uh, Brick Tackle makes, and here's the gun on the action figure version. And as you can see, it looks very very accurate. Uh, it's even like the, even the little things right there are uh, on the Lego version. I am really surprised that he put that much work into this, into these little tiny things here, because you would think it'd be such as like a small detail, but it adds so much to the way the gun looks to have those little details there. So yeah, a very, very awesome piece from Brick Tactical. Uh, I highly recommend you guys get one if you are a fan of the 2003 series, animated series, because this is a must have. This is like one of the most iconic uh, guns to come out of that series and like one of the most iconic moments, honestly, in my opinion, because uh, I just remember that that part I, that part in my childhood was like the most awesome part of that series when the arc troopers were coming out to get general grievous and uh, this guy comes out with like a huge quad blaster and it's like doo, 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 doo. it's just so awesome so yeah highly recommend this uh from brick tactical uh please leave a comment down below if you guys got one of these yourselves and if you guys are a fan of the 2003 animated series and uh, please leave a like on the video if you guys enjoyed it and i will see you guys in the next video